Hi, it's Chris from Florida Drone Supply, and we are back with the first mission on the Autel Evo Max 4T. Today, we're gonna to cover how to set up and fly your first mapping mission. With the latest firmware release on the Evo Max 4T, Autel has now added the ability to perform mapping missions, which will allow you to produce 2D and 3D models of the area, object, or structure that you are mapping. To get started, make sure you are on the latest firmware version. The good thing about this mapping function is that you can pre-plan your mission without being on site. Just make sure you're connected to the internet and use the map screen on your remote to get started. On the remote, click the More icon and select the type of mission that you would like. Currently, for mapping, there are two mission types, Rectangle and Polygon. The Rectangle mission is an automated flight path that follows a rectangular pattern, and this is useful for photography, mapping, and inspections in a defined area. Click the Rectangle option, and this will direct you to the Rectangle mission page. Click anywhere on your map to create and adjust the mission area. You can adjust the borders by simply clicking and dragging the blue and white circles on the borders to make the rectangle smaller or larger to fit your mapping area. On the right hand side of the screen, you will see the mission settings. If you do not see this menu, look for the arrow to bring the menu back onto the screen after it collapses. Your first option is to name your mission. Simply type in the project name or area location and press enter to save it. The next setting is the altitude mission height at which the drone will fly. These settings can vary by project and mission type, so you may need to adjust these to fit your needs. And to adjust, simply click the yellow height in the middle of the box and type in the height at which you need to fly your mission. You can also set your speed anywhere from two miles an hour to 22 miles an hour. Depending on ambient lighting, you may need to run the mission on a slower speed to avoid motion blur at high speeds in low light conditions. Below the speed option is the obstacle avoidance mode. This is defaulted to off, but you can turn that function on if you are running lower altitude missions where obstacles may be in your way. Next, we have the mission finished action button. It is defaulted to return to home, but you could also have it hover when finished and return it to home manually. The next option is the signal loss action button. This is exactly what it says. The mission can continue on or without a signal, but we do not recommend that for safety reasons. We would suggest having it return to home and you could adjust your location to make sure you have a signal throughout your mission. The elevation optimization button is defaulted to on and this is an extra set of photos where the drone will fly another line through the mapping area at the end of the mission to help with the ultimate elevation of the project area. The dual grid button is where it will add a crosshatch pattern and essentially double the photo count and extend the mission time by double since it is doing a more detailed scan of the area. The route extension option is where the map will basically triple in size to account for any overlap. Personally, when we draw out our maps, we tend to do it in a way that will be the most efficient and accurate from the start, and we do not see the need at this time to turn this option on. The next option is coordinated turns, and this simply means that the drone will make a more rounded turn compared to the sharp 90 degree turns on the standard flight. For this, we would suggest keeping this in the off position. Inside of the advanced menu is where you will set your front and side overlaps. We suggest not going below a 70% overlap for the front or the side. The more overlap, the more detailed your map will be. But the more overlap also means extended mission time and many more photos. The course angle is defaulted to zero degrees, and this is how the drone will fly the mapping lines. You can adjust these to whatever degree you would like, but the majority of the time, we do not adjust these settings. The last option is your gimbal pitch angle. The default on this is 90 degrees straight down, but depending on where you are mapping, you may have to adjust this to a different pitch and you have the option from going to negative 30 degrees to 90 degrees. Most missions that are flown will use a 90 degree down setting. There may be times that you may need to adjust this, but from our experience, you will have great results with the standard 90 degree down option. We know that this is a lot of information and settings to do, but for the most part, you will not need to adjust many other things in the mission outline, overlap, and height. Once you have all of your mission settings, simply collapse the side menu and press the yellow aircraft button on the left-hand side to start your mission. It is important to note that you will wanna make sure you have a fully charged battery on the drone and the remote for your mission. 
At the bottom of the screen, you will see the mission time and statistics. You will have the route length, the mapping area, the estimated time to complete the mission, and how many photos the drone will take. If your mission runs longer than the battery time available, make sure you have a spare battery and turn on the battery hot swap option, which we covered in a previous video, to make sure that you can get back in the air without losing any settings. For the Polygon mission, you will have the same options, but you will have the ability to draw out your mapping lines if the area that you are scanning is not a perfect square or rectangle. Simply adjust your lines by pulling in and out on the blue and white circles. Once your mission is finished, all of the photos from the mission will be on the microSD card inside of the drone. And you could use multiple processing softwares to create your maps such as Autel Mapper, Pix4D, Drone Deploy, and more. And we will cover the processing portion of this in a future video. We hope that this video helps you get your first mapping mission set up with your Autel Evo Max 4T. Should you have any questions, reach out to us by phone at 855-8-DRONES or send us an email to info at floridadronesupply.com. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.